Hey guys, welcome back to Mindset Madness. Today we'll be looking at the top 10 things people do when they are attracted to you. So let's get started. Number one, unintentional change. If someone thinks you're attractive and good, they'll want you to think the same way about them. It is the natural law of human physique to do so. They make every effort to catch your attention and go to great lengths to improve their physical appearance. So you've noticed a little change in the appearance of the individuals around you. And if this is something that happens frequently to you, then congrats, you're attractive. People that are attracted to you try to capture your attention by dressing nicely and styling their hair to highlight their best physical features. This is one thing, but others will utilize behavioral indicators to increase their attractiveness. Men, for example, will blow out their chest around women they admire to make them appear more manly and strong, which increases their degree of attractiveness. Females, on the other hand, flex into certain stance when they want to attract the attention of a man. But the point is that whether the person uses behavioral cues or alters their look, he or she finds you appealing and wants you to feel the same way. Number two, long gaze. If I asked you which area of your body communicates or sends the strongest romantic messages, what would you say? So without a doubt, the majority of you will choose eyes. The most common indicator of romantic attraction is the eyes. But why is that? I'm referring to the fact that your sight gets drawn unintentionally to persons you find beautiful. If you like someone and they walk past you, your eyes will involuntarily go in their direction and you will continue to stare at them. It means that what you look like, where you look, and how long you look are all clear indicators of attraction. If someone likes you, they will try to sneak sneaky glances at you and will keep gazing. If you notice someone looking at you for an extended period of time, it's likely that he or she intensely is attracted to you and making excuses to glance in your way. Well, there are several ways for your eyes to detect attraction but the most prevalent is eye contact. You are more likely to make eye contact with someone you like, which indicates that you are expressing interest, openness, and curiosity in that individual. If you stare at something for a long period, it might send a very strong message of attraction. And if you maintain eye contact with a specific individual for a longer or greater period of time, this indicates that you are attracted to him or her. There's a good chance you'll feel vulnerable and nervous when you're staring at them. If you want to know how you feel about a person, Note how you feel when you stare into their eyes, and if you feel nervous or overwhelmed, this means that you share a strong attraction towards each other. Number three, sound or voice diversity. Following eye contact, your voice has a big impact on physical appeal. People are attracted to certain voices. These voices can be distinguished by the pitch, loudness, and timbre of their vocal tones. Men, for example, are frequently attracted to females with a delicate, squeaky voice but women are drawn to a male with voices that are gruff and thick in nature. Some voices grate and are unattractive, while others are charming and compelling. While most people's speech preferences are unique to them, there are some patterns that can be detected effectively. For example, a study published in 2014 on evolution and human behavior indicated that when men converse or speak to the person they find attractive, they accidentally lower the pitch of their voice. According to science, a lower voice implies a more authoritative and confident presence, which women find more alluring. This means that if you like someone, they may change the pitch of their voice to appeal to your ears, and they'd like to make a physical connection with you, and they'd like you to enjoy their voice. Number four, closeness. If you are physically attracted to someone, they may invade your personal space and seek out other ways to come closer to you. These can be minor details to notice, such as when someone leans in close to you, stands near you, or accidentally closes the physical gap between your body and theirs. As an example, imagine you're on a date with someone you like, and you want to know if everything is going well. Are you attracted to this individual or not? Or do you think you'll be able to move this forward? The solution to these questions is the distance between you and the person, whether you two have steadily been closer to each other in the past, and whether the distance between you is getting smaller and smaller. And one method is to notice this is to look and see if that person has intruded on your space. And you can tell if someone has violated your personal bubble by looking at if their hands or legs are tangled in yours. In other words, a piece of their body has found its way into your personal space. If you see these changes, then you can proceed to the next level since the other person is drawn to you. Because these things are usually inadvertent, take time, and are never done on purpose. It is the greatest method to know. Number five, shine and glow. When you like someone, your body reacts in an unusual way. Your skin starts to glow almost as though you're emitting subtle golden light. Without a doubt, you sparkle like the sun. Your skin, of course, isn't glowing. However, the question remains, why? And what does it have to do with attraction? The answer isn't as good as it appears, 
because your skin is secretly oilier in the form of sweat, you reflect light and shine. Sweat condenses on the surface of your skin, creating a more reflecting surface. To put it another way, you're whining because you're nervous and sweaty, which is a normal occurrence when you're in front of someone you like or are attracted to. You may also think of it this way, if someone glows, it signifies you're making them nervous. As their bodies go into overdrive in response to your presence, a glossy film of sweat forms on their skin. To be honest, it isn't always a pretty sight, but someone who sweats around you will always find you appealing. Isn't it really amazing? Number six, being uncomfortable. Attraction is a tricky business and it can mess with your head at times. Let's assume you're spending time with someone you like and you enjoy spending time with them, but it's stressful on your brain. It has the potential to make you anxiously frightened. It might cause stress and irritation to your skin. So how can you tell whether someone is interested in you? Self-soothing actions, such as hand rubbing, foot tapping, or other types of fidgeting might help people relax. If you see these nerve signals, then this person may be particularly attracted to you. They can't seem to unwind when you're in the room because they're hopelessly attracted to you and it's driving them insane. And if you're feeling uncomfortable or nervous, like biting your nails, tapping your feet, or making other gestures, there's a good chance that you're into that person and find them appealing. Number seven, physical contact. Physical interaction has numerous benefits. One can be intimate and tender, while others can be comforting and polite. However, how can you identify the difference between a professional touch and a passionate touch? Consider the difference between a handshake and a hug to find the answer. A handshake makes physical contact without violating any intimate boundaries, but a hug on the other hand necessitates complete body contact. And it's a lot more personal. It's one of the reasons we shake hands with strangers while hugging our friends and relatives. A physical touch might be more attractive in a romantic situation such as on a date. Someone who considers you beautiful may express their feelings by physical touch rather than conventional greetings such as shaking hands or hugging you. Of course, they'll begin with something simple like a handshake or a pat on the arm, but if their attraction towards you grows stronger over time, they'll put their hands on your lower back around your shoulders or even rest their feet on your feet. The higher the intensity of attraction, the more personal the touch is. You can also deduce that the person is utilizing physical contact to try to deepen the relationship. Mirroring. Mirroring is also known as embodied cognition. It is a good technique to figure out if someone is attracted to you. Have you ever watched a group of friends or pair interact? You may have noticed that sometimes imitate each other if you've watched them. The most typical method is that they walk in sync, as if they were in a marching parade. Someone who is attracted to you will imitate your demeanor. They start imitating you and vice versa. Don't be scared though, mirroring is not the same as ridiculing. It's an unintentional deed that happens when someone is attempting to build a relationship with you and truly understand you. It indicates that the other person is curious to learn about you and connect with you. If you want to see if someone likes you, fold your arms in front of them and see if they do the same thing. If they do, then they are attracted to you. Number nine, blushing. Have you ever wondered why you blush so much when you're with someone you like? Blood rushes to your face when you are attracted to someone causing you to blush. It's an extreme reaction that causes your brain to release adrenaline, which leads to your arteries to dilate, according to psychology today. Blood rushes closer to the top layer of the skin as a result of this reaction and you find yourself flushed. When you're humiliated, you blush as well. It's a fight or flight reaction and it's obvious for a reason. When you blush, you are expressing your regret to people around you. It could be a technique for you to avoid a scenario by displaying your regret to others. Blushing is your way of expressing your acceptance of your feelings and even expressing them to the next individual. Someone who is continually blushing around you is attracted to you and wants to express his or her actual sentiments to you. Number 10. Body Language In relationships, body language is an important element of communication. As a result, it's a crucial feature of dating, particularly in terms of body language attractiveness. Understanding when someone is attracted to you will go a long way toward determining whether you should move forward or back. This can assist in piercing through a narrow strip put on by someone who doesn't want to harm your feelings. Their absence of body language cues, on the other hand, could convey exactly what they're unable to tell you explicitly. People tend to alter their body language to the setting in which they are drawn to people they are attracted to. Despite the fact that gender is an aspect, male and female body language has traditionally differed in some respects. Women, for example, are more prone to expand their eyes, making them appear more inviting. But men are more inclined to stretch their legs, causing them to take up more space. This is a significant feature that shows that a person is attracted to you and hence like you. Well, this is it for this video. We will meet you guys in another video. Don't forget to like and comment and subscribe to the channel Mindset Madness. 
Till next time, stay safe and keep following.